with the first race of the season, there are new teams, new drivers, and new paint schemes. But at Lincoln Speedway, that's not all that's new for drivers and fans who both can't miss the latest addition, which is kind of the point. This came about at the end of the season. Um, our flagmen have retired and we were we had been talking about this for a while. The answer is something that you'd have to go to Perth, Australia to find on a dirt track. The H&H &H General excavating virtual flagmen. I only know of one or two other places that's ever been utilized, but I don't know that they even utilize it to the point that we're taking it. So we're really excited for everybody to get to see this. Um, you know, in action. Instead of flags waving, the job is done by two large screens. You know, I'm not uh, not surprised we're going this direction. You know, it's not a it's not a bad direction. I don't think. You know, when you can uh, maybe keep things a little safer. And and quite honestly, you know, we we struggle sometimes if it's not lit up just right at some tracks to be able to see a flagman. We kind of felt this is probably going to be something of the future. So all the controls have been moved up here to the control center. Um, you know, we now have eight sets of eyes on the track instead of two. Those around racing know that the only thing faster than a 410 around the track is a race fan with feedback when it comes to change. Fans, you know, you hear that some of them talk and it mainly comes down to tradition. Um, you know, they're used to seeing the flagman in the stand. The fans should like it. They'll be able to see the same things we're seeing, I think. And, you know, just being able to, to know when everything's happening, what's going on as a fan's perspective, you know, I think they're going to see a whole different viewpoint of this you know and until you get here and you see it happening um, I don't think there's any reason to be negative toward it Alex Colley Fox 43.